Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of the Side Hustle Club podcast. So in this episode, let's talk about taking control over creating your dream life and business today, this week. And I want to specifically look at several areas in your life and business that you could consider taking more agency over and how you can make small tweaks today to ultimately create your dream life and business in 2023. And I also want to share some of my own examples of what I'll be focusing on in the next few months to create my dream life slash business this year. And actually the inspiration for this episode, it came about because I actually recently met up Uh, in person uh, for a meeting here in Singapore with an organization where we discuss potential ways that we could maybe collaborate in the near future. And during this conversation, I got to share some of, or actually one of my, my big, big dreams in my lifetime beyond just building my own coaching business and personal brand. And I actually shared with them that day in the meeting that I would love to work towards creating a world-class, world-renowned video podcast show or some sort of like show where I get to number one, interview brilliant brains of the world, all of whom are doing like things that they're absolutely proud of. And number two, to showcase stories of courageous decisions that ultimately led these awesome people to now create their dream life and career slash business. So essentially the show would be, it would be like an embodiment or a celebration of what I really believe in, which is creating a career that you're proud of. And also one more thing before we dive in. So I then, after the the meeting, I decided to hop on my Instagram stories and ask my audience, uh, what are your big dreams? And several people actually responded to the question poll thing on my Instagram stories. And so I want to just quickly share some of the responses that I got. So number one, starting my YouTube channel, performing at music festivals and creating content. Number two, making my art big. Number three, building a music-based business. Number four, becoming a singer-songwriter. Number five, living in Bali. Number six, starting my own pottery studio. Number seven, opening a rooster sanctuary. Number eight, to coach famous people or leaders who need support. Like, oh my goodness. Thank you, everyone who actually responded. And I hope uh, if you're listening to this um episode, I just want to say how beautiful and powerful these dreams are. So thank you to those who responded to this question on my IG stories. And thank you for for sharing your dreams with me. I I really hope that I can support you either directly or indirectly through my work like this podcast, or just to be able to cheer you on from the sidelines as all of us make waves in the world and make our big dreams a reality. And hey, before we actually start the the, the conversation for today... (laughs) I just also want to add one more thing, which is if one of your dreams is to build a coaching business or coaching career that you're proud of, then I would love to coach you and support you in making this dream happen. So we're currently accepting clients inside our program, the Side Hustle Club, which is a six month weekly one-to-one program, which also has weekly group coaching, monthly workshops, and a very awesome uh, private client portal with tons of resources and our signature curriculum. And a specific skills that we focus in on in the Side Hustle Club include number one, becoming known for your unique thought leadership. Uh, Number two, learning how to soft launch your coaching offer and ultimately sign clients and number three building a uniquely differentiated brand and if these are skills that you want under your belt as you build your dream of growing your own online coaching business then I would love to be right there alongside you so please come join me inside the Salsa club for all of the details and to apply to the program you can head on over to cherylthery.com slash program And then afterwards, we'll schedule a sales call to chat further about your business, your vision, the challenges that you might have encountered so far in your journey, and also to get to know each other and to answer any questions that you might have about working together. And I cannot wait to see you inside the Side Hustle Club. Okay, so with that, let's talk about how you can start making decisions today to build your dream life and business in 2023. So here's the thing. We can always take actions towards our dream life and business today, meaning we always have control and agency over our lives and our decisions and ultimately our business, right? And oftentimes it is those small, simple, or daily decisions that will actually compound over time into our dream life, right? So that's why I want to take the time today to look at several parts of our life and several parts of our business that are within our control right now. And please know that this is definitely not a definitive list, but rather these are just areas that I've explored for myself. 
And I do believe that we can exert control over each of these small areas little by little to ultimately compound those small decisions into larger ripples and waves in our lives. Um, and then also I'll be sharing uh, examples of how I'll be changing up my life in the next few months for these areas. Okay, so the first area is aligned lifestyle decisions, okay? So the first thing I want to talk about here is creating an on-brand, like, aesthetic lifestyle and, like, turning up the energy of your external surroundings. So let me explain what I mean by this. Okay, so essentially, like, similar how like similar to how we often create like an aesthetic for our Instagram feeds or like our content, our website. Like I want us to think about how you can create an, an aesthetic for your own day-to-day -day lifestyle. Okay. So let's start by talking about clothing, right? Clothing has always been an integral part of the way we express ourselves and we can leverage it to help us feel like we're living our dream life right now. Right. Because a lot of our confidence can oftentimes like stem from our personal style. So being mindful of our choice of clothes for the day, it could shape literally how we feel for the rest of the day. Right. I mean, think about it. When we think of like specific articles of clothing, different thoughts or images come to mind. For example, like athleisure, like the style of athleisure clothing or like a not stuffy, but a super stylish blazer or even like I don't know, a white lab coat that scientists wear or like a crisp apron that like Michelin chefs wear, right? Like literally all of those pieces of clothing carry some sort of energy or some sort of connotation. And that's why it can basically like shape how we think and feel right now. So you bet we can use clothing as a tool to start tapping into our dream life right now, okay? So what are the small tweaks that you can make right now? For example, could it be as simple as doing a smoky eye makeup? right? Or could it be wearing big, bright earrings? Or could it be honestly like getting properly fitted underwear that doesn't like either, it's not too tight and it's not like too, too like, right, like tight, right? And it's not like sloppy, right? <laughs> like just some examples to think about. And side note, these are definitely things that I had to think about, right? Um, so yeah, I want us to start by thinking about how can we be more mindful of the things that we put on our bodies to essentially shape the way we feel about ourselves today and ultimately feel like we are making strides towards our dream life right now. Okay, so now let's shift gears and talk about your workspace, okay? Because since as entrepreneurs, we spend a lot of times at our laptops and desks or workspaces, and we are creating amazingness of some sort at this dedicated workspace, right? So whether it's outside at a cafe or a co-working space or on the go or at home, your workspace honestly does shape how you feel during that work session. But let's zone in specifically to your workspace at home since we likely have more control over our home workspace compared to like a coffee shop outside, right? So how can you make small shifts in your work environment that makes you feel excited to open your laptop or take out some pen and paper and create, right? Because when you're not feeling your work environment, it it's really easy to like get distracted with your phone and like start comparing yourself with all the people you see online. So let's create a work environment that makes you feel incredible and doesn't make you want to like look elsewhere and end up spending hours just looking at other people's lifestyles. So think about what are the small changes that you can make that will create major ripples in the way you feel about where you work. For example, could it be changing the color of your room's like light bulb from a white light to a warmer yellowish light or like vice versa? Could it be getting a, a really nice fake plant to put on your desk, which is what I have also, by the way? Uh, could it be making a vision board and putting it within your, your, your realm of like eyesight <laughs> so that you can continuously anchor into your dreams and goals? Could it be literally this one? This one hits home for me, okay? Could it be literally wiping the dust and dirt off of your laptop screen and keyboard? <laughs> Actually, all of us should probably do that, by the way. Anyways, okay. Uh, could it be switching out your digital planning tools for pen and paper? Could it be buying a nice set of colored pens or markers or Sharpies that you could use instead of like those old pens that are like running out of ink? Could it be buying a digital print from Etsy and then printing it out? out yourself and then framing it and hanging it near your workspace? Could it be creating a color scheme for your workspace? Could it be getting an ergonomic cushion 
to support your, your back when you're sitting on your office chair. Or maybe it could be like DIYing and painting one of the walls of your room and creating your own featured wall. Right. So there's so, so, so many options available to us. And each of these are tools that we could leverage to influence how we feel and the energy in which we create from. And remember, what you surround yourself with matters. Right. So let's think about playing around with our workspace and start paving way for our dream life today. And likewise, how you feel on the inside also matters. So let's talk about curating your internal energy levels. Because honestly, all of us have big dreams and goals for ourselves, but we do need a vehicle, i.e. a body and a mind that is optimized to help us work towards those big dreams and goals. So what are those daily practices in terms of physical, mental, or emotional uh, tools or practices that you can have in place to help you stay in that optimal energy level so that you can continue taking action and showing up for your goals. So here are some examples that I have um, worked on myself. Uh, so for example, do you need to drink more water and be more hydrated? And also be specific, is it cold water that energizes you the most? Or is it boiling hot water? Or is it different temperatures of water help you tap into like different energetic states to help you do different tasks? Just something to think about, right? Are you sleeping enough? Are you moving your body enough? Are you feeding your body with foods that nourish and energize you? Or are you eating foods that make you just feel so sluggish to the point where you can't work anymore and you just need to like go take a nap, right? Are you aware of your breathing when you're feeling overwhelmed, stressed, frustrated, anxious, and so on? And are you using tools like breathing tools, for example, to help you regulate your nervous system when you're in a stress cycle, right? Right. Have you been curating different music playlists that match the different like energy or like energetic states or states of mind that you want to activate, right? For example, like a badass uh, playlist for when you want to tap into thought leadership vibes, or maybe a slower paced music for when you want to feel more grounded and calm, or maybe a specific playlist that you want to listen to before you hop on coaching calls with clients, right? And also, do you have regular or like regular daily or weekly mindset practices scheduled in your calendar for things like self-coaching or thinking time, right? So overall, having the awareness of how you're taking care of your internal states and how these decisions influence how you're feeling both physically, mentally, and energetically, like these are going to shape your capacity to create and take action on your dream life. So this matters, right? And there's definitely small adjustments that you can make, which will have a big impact on your energy levels. And also, even if let's say there are particular circumstances that you may not have full control over, like let's say you didn't get enough sleep for the past week, please always choose to recognize that there are other ways. There, there's always something right, that you do have control over. There's always small decisions you could implement on, right? And from a mindset perspective, you could also release the expectation or attachment to how you think things are supposed to look like or how you're supposed to implement on those decisions, right? Because there will be times when things don't go exactly the way we plan and that is okay. So always choose to see the situation from a different light and be highly attuned to what you do have control over, Okay, so now I want to share some examples of how I'm currently uh, making aligned day-to-day decisions. All right, so the first example I want to share is that I've been getting my lashes done once a month for I think six or seven months at this point because I've decided that you know, I'm someone who actually really do appreciate visuals. So for example, like I love looking at like really nice websites. So if you have a website, I'm probably going to go look at it and just like admire how it looks, how it's organized, how it feels and so on. Right. So because I genuinely do like to care about how things look and feel, I decided to also make an effort to genuinely like how I look and feel. Right. So a simple tweak that I've been committing to is just literally going to get my lashes done. Right. So I set aside a small investment every month to go literally just go get my lashes done. Right. And I find that it helps me feel more confident, even if I don't do my makeup for that day. Right. And it really helps me boost my confidence. And it's something that I decided um, it's just it just helps me feel better. Right. So that's the first example. Another example is because, again, I really like how things look and feel. I've also been scheduling time every week now, particularly on weekends, to literally just whip out my color pencils and my sketchbook and just draw so like this past week I drew like I drew I drew this really in my opinion really beautiful fish 
Okay. Um, see the pro artists who might be listening, you might think that my drawing is just like, meh. <laughs> I honestly had so much fun just creating something out of nothing, right? Because I love that feeling, that feeling of creating something out of nothing. So that is why drawing regularly is something that lets me feel like I am living my dream life right now. Okay. So a third example I want to share. And <laughs> this one, <laughs> This one is kind of interesting, okay? So it's pretty simple. It's pretty practical, I guess, is that every time I see a cat in Singapore, I'm going to take a picture of it and post it on Instagram stories because, <laughs> because my dream life, a thousand percent, my dream life has cats in my life, okay? But since I moved to Singapore uh, in December, 2021, I've been apart from my two cats who are still currently in Hong Kong with my parents. And I haven't had a cat in my life, like, on a daily basis since then uh, until recently actually of april 2023 uh, because i started cat sitting for my friend for the next five or six weeks um, and then also by the way uh side note i'll actually be going back to hong kong very 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 soon to bring back my cats from hong kong to singapore so i'll definitely <laughs> update you all when my my two cats are in singapore but anyway so basically to create my dream life right now even though I don't have my cats here with me, I've been literally taking a picture of every single cat I've come across in Singapore, even the cats on the streets, right? Or someone's like a friend's pet cat, right? I'll always be sure to take a picture and it makes me feel like I'm immersed in my dream life where I'm always surrounded by cats. So yes, these are some ways that we could all create our dream life right now through those day-to-day -day decisions, right? And they can literally come in all like all shapes and sizes, right? Some of them might require a small investment and others could be completely free. Some can be super planned while others can be more scheduled and regular, like regularly scheduled in your calendar. Um, so the point here is that we can always create magic in our day-to-day -day life, no matter what, starting today. All right, so now I want to shift gears and talk about making aligned business decisions. So I want to talk about the decisions that you can make within the scope of your business. And that includes basically any decision that you can make about what you want to do, like the platform to post on, how often you post, what you say, how you say, and so on. And for many of you listening to this, I know that creating a successful online business is part of the vision that you have for your dream life, which is why I want to talk about this as part of this episode as well. So here's what I've been observing. For a lot of entrepreneurs and coaches, they will start their business on a really high note. There's so much excitement and possibility, but then over time, your business might start to feel stifling, discouraging, repetitive boring. It feels like it's not validating whatsoever because you're constantly questioning whether things are working and so on. And essentially a trap that a lot of people fall into is that either perhaps we're so used to doing things in a certain way or seeing others around us doing things a certain way that we start to just try to squeeze ourselves into those boxes, even if we we might have outgrown that box ourselves, or maybe it was never the box that was meant for us in the first place. And that's why we see like a lot of people like falling out of alignment with their business or like falling out of passion with their business or like burning down their business because they're just trying really hard to build a business in a way that doesn't feel doesn't feel aligned, right? Or they're no longer who they were when they first started their business. Like maybe they have grown and they've evolved in their perspectives, but they're really just trying to stick to what used to work, right? Or maybe they just, they just don't like who they are anymore as they're building the business. Or maybe even like lifestyle or life circumstances or personal priorities have, have shifted and changed. And the way that you were previously building your business, it just may not align with who you are today or the circumstances that you have at the moment. But the common thread between like all of these potential scenarios is that the more we try to like push forward and do what we think is supposed to work or what used to work, the more we, we fall out of touch with the magic of building a business. And in order to stay in the magic of what you're doing, it oftentimes will require us to be willing to put everything on the table, meaning putting your old ways on the table and just be open to evaluating about whether it's working for you or your business anymore, right? And actually, I believe that it's very common to go through seasons of your business where you'll get like a breakthrough about the direction you want to take your business and then enter a season of implementation and going all in on that vision. And then we come back to a point where we reflect and we reevaluate again about what we really want. And it's like cyclical, right? We'll always be looping back to the point where 
we just feel like we want to burn things down to the ground and make big pivots and transitions. But more often than not, our decisions don't have to be that drastic. But it's just these moments of like wanting to regain alignment and actually listening to yourself and making decisions accordingly that might actually lead to you building a much more sustainable business in the long term right? So that's why in order to create a business that's here to send a test of time, I personally believe that it is necessary to regularly take time to reflect and evaluate whether you even like your business anymore and like how you're building it and who who you are while you're building it, right? And this will involve making, making decisions every now and then to make sure that your business is quote unquote aligned with what you want, how you want to grow it, and ultimately so that you can pave way for the long-term growth and trajectory of your dream business. For me personally, I am also in a season of reflection and kind of slowing down just a little bit in my business where I'm just being really open to putting everything on the table. So I've been thinking about what parts of my business no longer bring me joy and which parts absolutely fire me up and I'm ready to keep doing more of, which parts simply require small tweaks and which parts require big overhauls. Because I believe that our business is always a work in progress. And I also believe that it is like an ongoing pursuit of doing work that is meaningful for us, right? And making decisions, even if things were working really well for us previously, if we want to really align back to doing work that we're proud of and ultimately building our business in a way that is joyful, light, meaningful, impactful, and doing work that makes us proud, we have to continuously evaluate, like, is that even the case anymore, right? So one thing I noticed for myself is that I was leaning into a lot of like, I should do this for my business. And I was finding myself like getting deeper and deeper into this hole of like, I need to sell a monetary program promise in order to sign clients and grow my business. But honestly, like very, 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 very honestly, right now, I feel called to shift my messaging a little bit, right? And I really feel inspired to talk more about how I believe in creating a business and career that we're proud of rather than just focusing on the monetary wins that is possible if you work with me, right? So essentially I'm in a a phase where I'm redefining what marketing and messaging looks like for the next phase of my business. So that's why in the coming months, you may or may not, you probably will if you pay attention, you may start to see a shift in how I'm presenting my coaching program, where I'm shifting away from putting emphasis on only the monetary results of working with me and instead tapping into the longer term, larger vision that I have for my people, right? Which is to build careers that we're absolutely proud of, not just signing clients and hitting like income goals, which is still a hundred percent part of what we do inside my coaching program but just in terms of my own marketing and messaging I am personally in a season of my business where we're focusing just on the primary primarily like the monetary income wins it it just no longer feels exciting right and it feels a little bit dull and repetitive for me right now so just in a conscientious effort to reignite my own spark for my business and to really deepen the message that I want to be known for in my lifetime you will see me moving forward create even more content and sharing my perspectives on what it means to create a career and business that you are truly proud of and hey one that makes your Asian parents proud too am I right (laughs) okay so I hope that today's conversation was a starting ground, starting point for you to start percolating on what it is that you want to do differently moving forward and to start thinking about what decisions that you can make right now. Because irrespective of whether it's your dream lifestyle or your dream business, the same the same principle, the same thought process applies, which is what are the small, simple decisions that you can make this week that's very within your control, which should ultimately compound if you continue to implement on that decision and ultimately make waves in your life or business. And let's start there. You don't have to go from zero to a hundred right now. You can go from zero to one, zero to two, because that is required to go from zero to 50, zero to like 75 and zero to a hundred, right? These small steps matter. So please start today, start creating your dream life and business right now. Okay. And again, for those of you whose dream is to build a coaching business and coaching career that you're proud of, I would love to be there to support you and coach you in making this dream happen. So again, we're currently accepting clients inside our program, the Side Hustle Club, which is a six-month weekly one-to-one program, which also has weekly group coaching, monthly workshops, and a very awesome private client portal with a a lot of resources and our signature curriculum. So again, for all of the details, 
And to apply for the program, you can head on over to CherylTheory.com slash program. Anyways, thank you so, so, so much for tuning into this episode. I hope that I gave you something to chew on and to start implementing on right away. And I cannot wait to see you in the next one. Sounds good? Awesome. Let's get to work.